Hello, good afternoon to you. Welcome to the Business News here on Media Live. My name is Alfred Akansi. Let's go on to our first story this afternoon. And an economist with the Institute of Fiscal Studies, Edu Ousu Sarkodie, has suggested government invest heavily in agriculture and manufacturing to push economic growth. He was speaking on the sidelines of TV3's business focus program. Parliament approved a sum of 10.9 billion cities to be used for the first three months of 2017 by any government that will be sworn in after the December 7 polls later this year. A breakdown of the finances include compensation of employees at 3.88 billion Ghana cities, capital expenditure 1.2 billion Ghana cities, interest payment 1.88 billion Ghana cities, and tax refunds 151 million Ghana cities. Speaking on the sidelines of TV3's business and finance program, Business Focus, an economist with the Institute of Fiscal Studies, Idusa Kodier, was emphatic the advanced budget for the first quarter of 2017 was nothing different from the previous budget. That this budget is not different from what we have seen previously because if in terms of percentage allocation, it's almost similar. The interest payment is higher than capital expenditure. Empl compensation of employees is taking 35 percent, about one third. You know, so it's just something similar. And, and therefore, whoever wins the December polls is going to inherit an economy which is quite similar to, to the 2016 and 2015. With government's public debt on the rise, 2015 has been realized to have recorded the highest at 75% of GDP. He said government's rise in debt and borrowing must be dealt with in order to create room for investment in other sectors of the economy. The debt as we speak is about 110 billion cities. Government has borrowed saying that they are investing in infrastructure. And when you borrow to invest in infrastructure, there's nothing wrong with it. But this borrowing to invest in infrastructure must lead to economic growth. But here's the case, we are borrowed, we are saying that we invested in infrastructure, yet our GDP growth rate is declining. The finance minister in July this year sought approval from parliament to spend an additional 1.8 billion cities for the remaining of 2016. On to other stories, Minister for Employment and Labor Relations, Harun Idriso, is in that government is considering giving tax rebates to companies which offer employment to young graduates so as part of measures to deal with growing unemployment in the country. Now, the president of the Association of Ghana Industries, James Asari J, is saying that the success of such a measure will depend largely on the level of rebates government gives to these companies. The Employment and Labor Relations Minister hinted to mitigate the effect of growing unemployment, government is considering offering incentives to encourage businesses employ young graduates. He also urged universities must return to their call mandate. Essentially, it will deal with a major national ill. And the ill is that when many of the young people come out of university knocking at your doors, the answer is always that no working experience. Where else can they find the working experience other than the opportunity and platform that you offer them as starters? Meanwhile, President for the Association of Ghana Industries, James Asaria J, says if such interventions will succeed, it will depend greatly on what is being offered. If, for example, you employ and then for each graduate that you employ, you having two or three percentage reduction you see in taxes you know definitely i mean businesses and industrialists will be encouraged you know to really employ more and of, of course i mean it's not just employing for employing sake but they will develop i mean these graduates and then make them very useful it could also be support in whatever form technical support and so on and so forth all right so that's it for business